See this right here? This is making recording and mixing your songs a lot harder. Having a plugin list that is way too long, has a bunch of extra plugins you don't need or even use, it could actually be preventing your songs from sounding as good as they should. So if your plugin list is looking like mine, an absolute mess, or maybe you don't even know which plugins you have anymore, today we're gonna fix that. So I've got my counter ready, and uh, we're gonna go through my plugins and see how many we can delete so that my plugin list is nice and clean and actually helps me make better music instead of getting in the way and slowing me down. So we're gonna decide which plugins are going to stay, which plugins are gonna go, and talk about why. So by the end of this video, you'll be ready to clean out your plugin list and take a big step forward to making better music faster and easier. So obviously we've got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get into it. Now, recording and mixing obviously has a lot of technical sides to it, right? But it's also very much a creative process. And personally, I like to try to keep interruptions and things that distract from that creative process down to a minimum. And a plugin list like this it causes me way too much scrolling. It makes it really hard to find a specific plugin that I'm looking for and just adds a lot of visual noise. And I just find those things slow me down, interrupt that creative process and actually kind of make it harder to record and mix. Now, normally my plugin list does not look like this, but recently I decided to wipe my computer clean and kind of have a fresh start. And when I did, of course, I re-downloaded my software, but I also decided to re-download most of the plugins that I own so I could take this opportunity to kind of reevaluate and go through them and see what I actually use, what I actually like, uh, what I don't need anymore. And I even made a spreadsheet to make sure that I was filtering out plugins that are essentially duplicates of each other because I'm just nerdy like that. But honestly, I did find this really helpful in making decisions and getting my plugin list nice and clean. All right, so let's open up this Waves folder here and you can see I have a ton of plugins and there's a couple of reasons for this, but it's insane. I think I counted like 409 or something like that. Part of the reason is uh, I have the gold bundle. I bought that many, 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 many years ago. And A, they've added a lot since then, but also I don't use hardly any of those anymore. I only use a few plugins from the gold bundle, but you have to download the entire gold bundle just to get those few plugins. You can't download them individually. Also, you'll notice here, and this happens with some other plugin companies as well. I have a uh, API 2500 mono here and API 2500 stereo here, which is great. That's what I want. Uh, but also I have a duplicate here again, and another mono and another stereo. And that's because when you download the Wave stuff, they give you like all the different versions of plugins that are available. So I have the AU or audio units version here, as well as the VST3 version, because I'm on Mac, audio units are for Mac, VST3 works on Mac and PC, and you just kind of get both of them. But I have a duplicate of everything here. So that's that kind of visual noise and just extra scrolling and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get rid of the audio units version. I'm gonna keep the VST3 version. All you Mac purists uh, can yell at me in the comments down below. All right, so let's go ahead and start deleting a lot of these plugins. I did make a detailed video of how to delete Waves plugins. I'll leave a link in the video down below. We're gonna hit the highlights here, but also I have a link there on that video. If you're on Windows, it takes you to the Waves support page that tells you how to do it. It's very similar, just a little bit different, but you can find that in the description down below. All right, so let's run through these plugins and start deleting them. Got my counter going, here we go. Uh, the API 2500 bundle, I use that all the time on my drum bus, great plugin, so that one's going to stay. Audio track, I never used, that one's gonna go. Bass Rider, I use that one all the time, so that one's gonna stay. Berserk Distortion, that was a Black Friday giveaway way back in the day. Cool plugin, but doesn't work for most of what I do, I don't use it. C1 bundle, part of that gold bundle I don't use, so there we go. The C4 bundle, that's a, a multi-band compressor. I don't have another one right now, so that one's gonna stay. That's probably gonna change in the near future though. CLA bass bundle, do not use. CLA drums, do not use. CLA echosphere, I do use, but this is a version 12 and I have a version 13, so that's gonna go for now. CLA mix hub, I do use that. Uh, CLA 2A, 3A, 76, those are those CLA compressor bundles. Use those all the time, great plugin, so those stay. DSer, 
that one's gonna go. I use a different one. Doppler, do not use, so that's gonna go. Doubler, do not use, that's gonna go. Both part of that gold bundle. Uh, Eddie Kramer drums, do not use, that one's gonna go. Electric Grand 80, do not use, that one's gonna go. Emo F2, do not use. Emo Q4, do not use. Enigma, do not use. A lot of those, again, are part of the gold bundle. Same thing with this guitar amp stuff. So you got these plugins here. This goes back to that visual noise of stuff that um, I don't use. So if we scroll way down here, you can see we have a guitar amp stuff, but they have all these other plugins that are kind of like modules that you can access individually. And there's just a ton of them there. And I don't use those and having to keep scrolling by those all the time is really annoying. So we're gonna take all those guitar ones there and we're gonna throw them over here. Now H comp, uh, I do use great compressor, part of that gold bundle. I use a lot of other compressors as well, but that's one I like to use. Uh, H delay, another great delay. Um, part of that gold bundle, I do use that. IR for reverb stuff, do not use. JJP bass, do not use. Kramer tape, I do use. Uh, L1, classic waves uh, limiter plugin. Super old school, but super popular. Kind of almost have to keep it, so we're gonna keep that. Max bass, I do not use. I use the R bass down here instead, so that one's gone. Meta flanger, Mondo, Mod, MV2, I do not use, all part of that gold bundle. NLS, I have used in the past, but I just got a new plugin, the Lindell 80. That's a Neve console style plugin. Um, that kind of does what this does in a way. And so I may end up using that more, but I'm gonna keep this here because this has a couple other different flavors as well. So that's gonna stay for now. Uh, this is the louder knob and I use that all the time. So that stays. PAZ, don't use. PS22, do not use. Q10, uh, again, is part of that gold bundle, but I don't use those. I actually use the um, Studio One stock Pro EQ for those subtractive digital EQ moves. R bass, definitely use that. That stays. R comp, great classic compressor from Waves. A lot of people like it, a lot of people use it. I just find myself not going to it, not because it's not good, just I just prefer other things. So there we go. Uh, same with Renaissance Axe there. Don't use that anymore. Renaissance EQ, kind of the same thing as a Q10. I used to use that all the time for those subtractive digital EQ kind of things, but I don't use that anymore. Rverb, do not use. S1, I do not use. Shep's Omnichannel is a great plugin. I don't use it much only because I haven't taken the time to really learn it. So this one's gonna stay. Sibilance, that one I use for DSing on occasion. So that's gonna stay. Signal generator, I almost never use, but it's kind of one of those utility things. If I ever need a one kilohertz tone or pink noise or white noise, this is a good one to have. So that's going to stay just as a utility tool. SSL comp, I use that on my master bus all the time. Super tap, I do not use. True verb, I do not use. Ultra pitch, do not use. Those are all again, part of that gold bundle. Uh, the V series stuff right here, kind of a Neve style EQ and compressor. I do use those fairly often. Vitamin is a very interesting and cool plugin, but I don't use it. But if you haven't checked it out, worth checking out. Vocal Rider, I use all the time, so that stays. VU Meter, very nice looking, very cool meter, but I don't use that. Waves Tune, I do not use that at all. I use Melodyne instead. So now if we look at our Waves plugin list again, obviously those aren't removed yet. They're still loaded into Studio One. We're gonna have to, you know, shut Studio One down, restart it and all that kind of stuff for all that to take place. But we're gonna move on to some other things first. The next kind of major offender right now is, for me, is Isotope. I downloaded the Nectar 4 for a trial, but they have this main plugin that has all these different modules in it. And then you can also access individual modules as individual plugins. And then of course I have this doubled version here, an AU version and a VST3 version. And so we kind of got the same thing going on there. Let's go back to our applications. And then we're going to come up here to Isotope portal right here. I'm already logged in. Here's my Nectar 4 trial and we're just going to delete that. Uninstall. All right, so that now is uninstalled. All right, the next one we need to take a look at is this ML Sound Lab. I have a Vox AC30 amp thing that I had done a demo of, so we're going to delete that. And this one, we just need to move to trash. And now that one is gone. So that takes care of all the ones we're actually deleting and removing. And if we look right here, that is 
definitely a bit shorter. However, it's still too long, and a lot of that again has to do with the fact that we have an AU version and we have the VST3 version right here. So we got a lot of duplicates. Plus, there's several like this base writer where they have a live version, which I don't use. So we're going to hide all of that stuff and make this list a lot shorter. We're going to use the plugin manager within Studio One to do that. We'll show you how to do that here in just a minute, but also, these Apple plugins, I do not use at all in my recording software. So we're going to get rid of those and the Apple folder will actually go away. And we'll have some other cleanup, some of these other folders as well, where there's duplicates. Uh, Amplitude 5 is going to go away. I don't want to uninstall it because I do use it on the rare occasion. I don't want it in my plugin list here. So that folder will disappear as well. And then also we're going to have to manage this uh, pre-sona stuff here where we're not going to uninstall them. We're going to again use that plugin manager to hide the ones that we don't want and make that list a lot shorter. So we're about to hide a ton of plugins real quick. Now to get to the plugin manager to hide all these, what we're going to do is hit this little home button here, come down to plugin manager and boom, this is showing all the plugins that are currently on my system that Studio One is seeing. First thing I'm going to do is you can see we have these filters. We want to uncheck native, uncheck rewire, VST2 and VST3. And now these are all of my audio unit plugins. So those are all going to get hidden. So click this hide all button here and that's going to hide all of my audio unit plugins. The only one I don't want to hide right now is this BOD from um, TSE Audio only because the other version is a VST2 and not a VST3. So I've decided to go with the audio unit version on this one. Let's choose another filter real quick. We'll do the VST2 right here and we're going to hide all of these because I don't need this. Yeah, let's get started there. Back to my waves and you can see now we just have the VST3 versions. You can tell because it just says mono and stereo it doesn't have the parentheses versions. And so that plugin list is looking a lot shorter. We're going to clean that up just a little bit more here in a moment. We also noticed the Apple one is gone. I forgot to remove IK multimedia on both of those, but I can actually just do it from right here and hide. And now it's gone quick and easy right there. All right. So let's look at the other ones real quick and just double check. We we're nice and clean right there down to just two down to just the one right there. Isotope. Let's go ahead and hide these individual plugins right here. ML Sound Lab. We deleted that, but it's just not going away. I'm not sure why. So we're just going to hide it. Now that's all nice and clean. Neural DSP, all nice and clean. Remember we had quite a few of the Tone Kings down there earlier. Plugin Alliance. Yep. Nice and clean. Just one of each there. Presonus we're coming back to. Steven Slate, just one trigger two now instead of like three or four of them TSC. Yep. Nice and clean. Two notes. Nice and clean. Universal audio. Nice and clean. Just one of each waves. We already looked at that one and waves factory. That was already just the one plug in there. Definitely getting better. So let's just kind of keep on cleaning stuff up and uh, get that number even higher. So the next big task we're going to do is this pre sonus list and we're going to get rid of uh, a good chunk of these. Again, I'm going to refer to my list over here where I've already made a lot of these decisions. So Empire, we can just use the hide here, beat delay, hide, binaural pan. If we wanted to, we could also come back to the plugin manager right here and we could deselect all, choose PreSonus and native, and they're all going to show right here. And I can see my full list right here and just uncheck them from right here. Channel strip, compressor, dual pan, expander, mix tool, mix verb, room reverb, scope, spectrometer, tone generator, tri comp, tuner. Now, if I close that out, we can come back to effects and look at our presonus, and it's definitely a lot cleaner. Now, let's go back to our waves, and we're going to clean this up a little bit further. So, bass rider live, mono and stereo, we're going to hide those because I don't use those. And actually API 2500 mono. I don't use that. I only use that on drum buses. Basically bass rider stereo do not need that. I only use it for bass guitar mono, <laughs> um, C4 mono stereo. Keep those for now. Echo sphere 
fine, epic, fine. I do not use mix down and mono, only in stereo, so we're gonna hide that. Mix hub, light, mono and stereo, mix hub. That's fine. Sometimes I use the light, sometimes I don't. In X stereo, uh, CLA2, I don't use three. Mm. Yeah, I don't use these in stereo. So we're gonna keep those mono. I can easily bring them back if I decide to. Just go back to my plugin manager, you know, make that little checkbox next to them lit up and that'll be fine. Generator, only use mono on that. H comp, leave the mono and stereo there. H delay, mono and stereo, that's fine. Creamer, yeah, leave those mono and stereo, that's fine. L1, that's fine. Magma little tube, that's fine. Those are fine, that's fine. One knob, I only use the stereo version on that. I just use that for making mixes louder, kind of like a really quick cheater master when I'm sending it off to somebody to listen to, to check a mix or something like that. I just use that to get the volume up a bit. R bass, I do not use stereo on that. Sheps, Omni, that's fine. Sylvance, that's fine. I do not use the live of any of that. Silk vocal, I do not use live on that at all. Mono and stereo. SSL comp, I only use that in stereo. That goes my master uh, bus typically. V comp mono and stereo. Yeah, uh, we'll leave those mono and stereo versions for now. Vocal rider live, I do not use mono or stereo. And vocal rider stereo, I do not use only vocal rider mono. So there we go. That is a fairly manageable list there. We're only scrolling just a little bit there whole lot better than 409 <laughs> so feeling pretty good about that one and i may even knock that down a bit all right so we just deleted a ton of plugins right i'll probably still remove a few more hide a few more whatever but i really feel like i'm definitely in a pretty good spot definitely way better than when we started hopefully this was a bit of fun and encourages you to take a look at your playlist and see what you can delete uninstall remove hide to make your playlist a lot cleaner and shorter less scrolling less visual noise makes it easier to find the plugins you need when you're uh, recording and mixing your songs and speaking of recording, if you'd like to see how I like to record my songs, make sure you check out the video that's going to show up right here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.